Ever since the SMP's financial scandal started as a saga, we've been wondering on this channel, what have they actually been doing with all the money that they had? Considering they're running out of it, well, we have some new update. Angus Robertson, one of the senior SMP figures, had been receiving a secret salary top-up on that money. Okay, this is getting absolutely juicy, ladies and gentlemen. So, the SMP are going through this crisis with uh, trying to find new auditors. Apparently, no accounting firm wants to touch that party. But, they're also saying that, well, they came a couple of weeks ago saying we are running out of money. Then they said last week, the books are balanced. Now they finally admitted they don't, they don't have any money. But then the police are trying to find uh, some burner phones and SIM cards, uh, like this is some sort of Breaking Bad episode, but the um, UK version. At the same time, they've already seized the camper van and they're trying to find some jewellery and everything else. We are wondering what they've been doing with the money. Now, Angus Robertson, we all know Angus Robertson in Parliament, was given a secret £33,000 a year uh, a salary top-up when he was SMP Westminster leader. So now, we're not really accusing him of anything directly because this is their money, that's the political party money, but of course the money was raised through donations and party membership income and everything else. But I'm just simply asking, if you didn't have any money, what were you doing? But the issue with this, it makes it even sound more dodgy, even if it was innocent because he was Westminster leader, fine. Why did they hide it from everybody? Why was it supposed to be a secret? That's the main question. The SNP group in Westminster were not told about these payments while they were being made, and senior nationalists in Edinburgh were also kept in the dark. Now, if you have nothing to hide, if this was a legitimate and genuine salary top-up for some reason, because it clearly doesn't make enough money, yes, it does, by the way, then why did you have to hide it from everybody? Why did we have to wait for a leak to happen or the investigation to find out some new corners in your dodgy, dodgy uh, room? So, the SMP are now freaking out. They're trying to rebrief the media, saying, we will get back to you when we can. You've been saying that for the past few weeks. You do not comment on live investigation. We get it. Now, according to the papers, there's no suggestion that Angus Robertson... Uh, broke any rules himself, but the SNP politicians are angry that stories of poor financial governance within the SNP keep coming. And of course, about uh, all the, the, the lack of transparency, that's more an issue. One of the sources said that there might have been a case for extra payment for additional responsibilities, but that should have been transparent to the wider MP group, not just the cosy cartel that gained the extra money. I mean, that is always the main question. In the previous video earlier today, when we talked about uh, the police are now hunting for burner phones and SIM cards and other items, we also did say that uh, there was a former SNP councillor who was also quite influential at the time. He was uh, pushed out of the party because back in 2019, he was raising basic questions about uh, the lack of transparency. And Nicola Sturgeon and uh, the, the minions around her kept shutting down any discussion, and they went with cover-up as a method. So in 2021, the guy left and joined the Alaba party with the Alex Salmon. That's one issue. But considering you did cover-up, and you tried to cover up the cover-up, and now you're claiming that Humza Yusuf is his own man, is the party's under new management. But two minutes ago, you were claiming that he was Nicola Sturgeon 2.0. He wanted to carry on with her legacy. What is it? Pick one. So, a decision was made at a meeting of the SNP's group, Executive and Westminster, to link the leader's additional payment to the top-up received by a junior minister, which was £33,207 at the time. Now, Angus Robertson, now the member of Scottish Parliament for Edinburgh Central, was not present at that meeting. Well, that's very convenient. The Executive is a small group that makes key decisions on the inner workings of the team in the House of Commons, and one of the former MEPs a few years ago was elected uh, as its secretary, while Peter uh, Wishart, uh, who was the experienced MP, and uh, obviously you had uh, Christina uh, Oswald, who is now the SNP's business uh, convener. These guys were also involved 
where they, they voted. So they were in the meeting. Angus Robertson wasn't. But that, again, without completely accusing him directly of anything, it doesn't help. Because if the, his line officially is, well, I wasn't there, I didn't know. But that's exactly what a criminal would do. <laughs> I can't go because there will be evidence that I was there. So send someone else on my behalf. So smoking gun? Maybe. I don't know. But the one thing we know is that they kept it a secret. Why did they keep it a secret? So that's the main question. So clearly something is going on in this area, not just the wider topic. But this channel will keep you guys posted even if the rest of the mainstream media completely ignore these little stories around the SMP corruption. Amaya Tusi and we are the media.